I've done some of everything, you know, from preaching with no notes, no Bible, preaching with an outline, preaching with index cards, preaching with a folded piece of paper that I pulled out and the whole sermon was there, you know, to now what I call a coded oral manuscript. Mm. Because if I showed you my manuscript, it's, I have a code that is part of my memorization scheme. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after I've written my first draft and my daughter and my wife always get on this, get on me about this, I am constantly editing Mm -hmm. and re-editing and Mm -hmm. re-editing, trying to say better what I've said. Mm We do multiple services and I edit between the service. This transition wasn't good. You know, delete this, save this for another time and that sort of thing. So my manuscript is never complete. It's always a work in progress and I'm learning something as I'm presenting it. But if you looked at it on on paper, on iPad, you notice that there are colors. So all of my Title sentences Mm. are highlighted in yellow. My verbs are highlighted in green. And that aids me because I'm trying to maintain eye contact while I preach. And so like people will often say, when do you look down? I didn't even see you looking down. But what they don't know is that when I look down and see that title sentence, I can go three paragraphs Mm -hmm. before I need to look down again. Okay, and that's what I mean by a coded manuscript, you know, so and then I'm praying afterwards and I do a lot of revivals Mm. and I am a fan. Manuel Scott Sr. once said that preaching that is not reheatable (laughs) is not repeatable, (laughs) (laughs) meaning if it was good enough to preach the first time, it's good enough to preach again. And so when I'm preaching revivals and stuff like that, you know, I'll preach some messages that I have done and they are in process even on the road because a different environment will bring different things out of you and even cause you to see different things in the text.